Electrostatic spraying is the first step in Delta's cleaning process after an aircraft lands. They apply this revamp procedure to all 3,800 daily flights across the world. But it's not easy, as sometimes they only have about 30 minutes in between flights to spray the cabin and wipe every surface. We follow the Delta cleaning crew for a day to see what goes into sanitizing a plane before a flight. Since passengers are in close quarters, airplanes are normally considered high-risk transmission areas. Our challenge is now, I think, continue to just be restoring the, the customer's confidence. I think we're making headway, but I think there's still a long way to go. It all starts with the uniform. Workers suit up to protect themselves from the charged sanitizer and the virus itself. The liquid held in a backpack-like container is a disinfectant approved by the Environmental Protection Agency, and it's similar to Clorox. It can kill any pathogens, including coronaviruses that are lingering in the air or stuck on a surface. Delta Airlines implemented this process in February. I think we very quickly pivoted from feeling a sense of loss to feeling a sense of challenge. How long it takes to clean depends on the size of the plane. The larger ones can take at least an hour or more. And if the flying crew doesn't feel safe, they can ask for another cleaning. Anyone can be involved to inspect the aircraft for cleanliness, and anyone has the ability to raise their hand and say, the airplane's not clean, we can't board. I already have my boarding pass. I just need to get to A14. Okay. There's also a new process at check-in. Okay. There is plexiglass between employees and passengers Delta contractors wipe every touchscreen after a person uses it. Flight attendants have changed their routines too. As I lead my crews and I do my briefing, I try to let them know that the perception of cleanliness is everything. It's not enough for us to go in there and clean the restrooms if the passengers don't see us doing it. We want you to see that we're going in there every 30 minutes and we're checking those labs, we're wiping down all surfaces, we're serving you with gloves, we're offering you pre -well wipes, we're doing so many different things for your safety. They offer passengers a Ziploc bag with water, snacks, and hand sanitizer. Middle seats are blocked to separate passengers. Delta says air on the aircraft recirculates every two to six minutes through industrial-grade HEPA filters with similar performance to those used in operating rooms. Since March, the airline industry has been hit hard. Before the pandemic, around 2 million passengers a day flew nationwide on about 25,000 flights. After the pandemic, the number of passengers dropped to under a million and the number of domestic flights went down to about 9,000 flights a day. As part of Delta's commitment to the care and well-being of our customers and employees, we are taking the following extra steps to promote a safe and healthy flight. Many airlines laid off a lot of their staff. Delta says it has not had furloughs but made some employees take unpaid leave. When you think about March 11th, using that as a benchmark, I, I think we were operating close to 200 flights that day. You know, and by the end of April, we were down to 12 here at JFK. Flights have increased since May, but the number of passengers remains under 1 million for the most part. It's going to be a long recovery and it's going to be a choppy recovery. And I think part of that is because we will continue to see ebbs and flows of the virus. It's estimated that more than 100,000 workers have left the airline industry since the pandemic started. And entire companies like ExpressJet Airlines have also vanished. Flight attendant Richard Brown says he feels lucky to have his job, even if he faces the risk of getting sick. Coming back, I was kind of apprehensive, but I was also ready to come back because I had been sitting at my house in lockdown. <laughs> for several months at that time. So I was kind of anxious and I was antsy and I was ready to go back. The new cleaning routines have offered him some relief and confidence. I've never felt safer and that's because of everything that we're doing. There's been such an attention to detail now. And it's not that there wasn't an attention to that detail before, but there's a renewed focus on cleanliness. There is some evidence that flying may not be as dangerous as we initially believed. Studies have found that as long as passengers wear a mask, flying can be safer than grocery shopping. But take those studies with a grain of salt, since many have been funded by the airline industry. And there are also risks of transmission at the airports when people are standing at security or check-in lines. And most airlines don't require people to test negative for COVID-19 before flying. Meanwhile, cases of coronavirus are hitting new records in the U.S. 
The airlines themselves admit that nothing they can do will bring back passengers until the pandemic improves. We're not really concerned about the expenses because the most important thing to us is restoring the customer's confidence and knowing that until customers get confident in the, in the flying process, they're not going to come back. And, and we're going to have to spend money to get them in that place to do so.